Radioactive Decay by kscience.com. In this radioactive sample, there are 16 unstable nuclei. And there are nine stable nuclei. And what we're going to see is how the number of unstable nuclei halve with every half-life. So as I said, there are 16 unstable nuclei in this radioactive sample. As we've got 16 unstable nuclei in the first sample, where the green coloured nuclei represent unstable nuclei that have yet to decay, and the yellow nuclei represent stable decayed nuclei. After one half-life, we're going to expect eight unstable nuclei, because a half-life means that the number of unstable nuclei are going to half, in this case from 16 to 8. As you can see here, this nucleus became stable through decay. So all the unstable nuclei that were in the first sample, half of them are going to undergo decay and become stable. As you can see here, we went from 16 unstable nuclei to 8 unstable nuclei. 8 unstable nuclei. This will also lead to a halving of the radioactivity. And one half-life later, we go from eight unstable nuclei to then four unstable nuclei. So in one half-life, the number of unstable nuclei is going to decrease by half to then four unstable nuclei. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So four of the unstable nuclei are going to decay and become stable. One half-life later, we're going to go from four unstable radioactive nuclei to two unstable radioactive nuclei, whereby two of the four are going to decay and become stable nuclei. So then we're going to go from two radioactive nuclei that are unstable to one radioactive nuclei that is unstable because one half-life is the time taken for a radioactive sample's activity to decrease by half. As you can see here, this sample has now got one unstable nuclei in it. So we started off with 16 unstable nuclei, and then after one half-life, there were eight unstable nuclei, and after another half-life, there were four, then two, then after the final half-life, there was one unstable nuclei. So to summarise, this shows how the number of unstable nuclei of a radioactive isotope in a sample decreases over four half-lives. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.